Bruce is a really special place. I started climbing here when I was 16 years old. And it was really like my first road trip in Europe and uh, came straight here and was climbing on Biografie. And this became like a really big process in my, my life as a climber to have such a, a long-term project. And so it took me about four years to climb this route. So in that process, I developed a strong connection with, with this cliff. And I mean, every time I come back here, it's recharging the batteries, you know? Brings back old memories and get a lot of new energy. It's amazing to come back and see that there's so many new lines still to bolt and so much potential still. So. Just coming here and I guess contributing to the big collection of all the amazing historical routes, you know, since Elanger and Arnaud Petit and uh, Jean Christophe Lafayette when he bought the biography. And it's cool just to, to come and give my interpretation to the, the climbing Seus and find a, another really cool line that just like when I was a kid and biography was like the perfect next step for me, my progression. Well, it's cool to to kind of continue the process and continue the evolution and help the next generation too to have that next step. I both did this one project that is right in the middle of the wall and 50 meters to the left and 50 meters to the right there's nothing there and uh, it's just such a privilege to come to a, such a perfect cliff and, and bolt such a beautiful line. I've never been touched before. For me, that's really the inspiration for climbing. To find these new routes. So, so I'm gonna go up on, try to finish bolting this route, and it's really kind of complicated to get to the top, so I'm just gonna keep going up on, on hooks and see if I can find the right placements. I'm not really sure how hard it's gonna be, but I think it's gonna be pretty hard. <laughs> I'm really excited about this climb because it's really, really bouldery and it has really small holds and gymnastic moves. But in a lot of situations, if one hold was missing, the line would be totally impossible. It was amazing when I bolted the line. I was just climbing up on hooks and with the pockets, you're not really sure of what you're, what you're gonna find, you know? And I was just climbing up the wall and found this amazing path of pockets and uh, unlock this amazing climb. It has a really hard bouldery start with a really gymnastic section. One really crazy move. I'm so surprised that it actually went like this. You get this flake and you do this crazy crossover. And then a toe hook in the flake, 
come to a really bad little little intermediate thing and then you jump out to this this pretty good flat hold but you have so much swing You have a really physical section where it's not really any rest and you're always really squeezing with your whole body and then you have a really hard move at the top or about three quarters. I think that's what really makes it extra hard. I've always been interested more in doing first descents because it's just trying to explore my, my vision of what's possible and being creative. And, uh, really kind of takes it beyond just a sport. It's like this uh, adventure and creative process. And even though this cliff has already been there for thousands or millions of years, it's um, bringing some creative interaction and somehow creating something that wasn't there before when you, when you bolt a line and, and kind of unlock the sequence to all the moves. Continued. To be continued.